What's up guys? I thought I'd do something a little bit different today and kind of show you a little bit about what I do on a daily basis. Give you a day in the life of a recovering gambling addict. To start my day, I wake up here. <laughs> the first thing that I do after I get up is I start to journal. In here, I write five intentions for the day. I write five self affirmations, which are like the positive things like you're doing great. You got this. I write five things that I'm grateful for. And then I just kind of, you know, write down some of my thoughts. I think it's important that we get pen to paper sometimes because a lot of times we're holding in a lot. And when we get the chance to write it down, we end up discovering a little bit more about the situation, in my opinion. I think it's really valuable. I also think it's important to get some meditation in in the morning. I recommend doing between five and 10 minutes at minimum. Every morning I do a 10 minute breathing exercise that looks a little bit like this. It turns out that doing something simple like having a longer exhale than your inhale is actually really good for your parasympathetic nervous system, which all means that you'll feel good after you're done. Then before I get to work on the videos, I like to do a little bit of reading. Right now I'm reading the four hour work week, which is ironic because I'm working about 12 hours a day on this social media content for you guys. I think that having a routine is really important because you get yourself on the right path. When I was gambling, I was spending between six and eight hours a day gambling. So I needed to make sure that I was filling all that time with something productive. So that's why my day starts exactly the same time every single day, because I don't want to leave any gaps of time where I might slack off and be sitting around waiting for something bad to happen or bad thoughts to arise. I always try to keep my mind busy, keep myself moving and stay productive. Here's where the real magic happens. It's where I make my videos. It's my desk here. And I keep sticky notes that you'll notice pretty much everywhere. It has different goals of mine, but also it has different quotes and things that kind of just get me going in the right direction. So I also have a wall of quotes that I keep right next to me every single day. And if you'll notice, there's certain ones that my girlfriend might have written. Now I'm going to get ready to hit the gym. Oh yeah, I'm not that good at video editing. All right, now we're ready to go. And you know we had to get the pre-workout going because for no reason at all. Yeah, I don't really know why I needed it. All right, pulling into the gym now. Going to get a workout in. Today is pull day. So it's going to be back and bicep and whatever the hell else is on this workout plan that my boy made me. So I'll let you know how that goes afterwards. Now I gotta jump in the shower. Of course, it's gotta be a cold shower cause they're good for you for a lot of reasons that I can't remember right now. Now I'm gonna head on over to my favorite coffee shop to get some coffee and do some editing. So tonight's one of the nights where I'm gonna be live on TikTok. I go live three times a week and I answer questions that people might have about gambling addiction and addiction recovery. Uh, it's a really good experience because people don't really know much about me besides what I put in the videos. So when I get to go live for an hour, people get a little bit better of an understanding as to kind of why I do what I do. And um, I think it's really important to do so. At the end of this video, I'm going to be including a full schedule of what I do on a daily basis in case anyone wants to copy it. It's a little bit intense. I made it for originally for a monk mode period, but I ended up making it my full time schedule because I really loved it. Uh, so if you enjoy that, that'll be at the end of this video. Looking forward to showing it to you. If you take notice, my days are really based around working on my mind and body and getting a lot of work done. So when I'm not making videos, which takes between six and eight hours, I'm always hitting the gym, stretching, doing things like hot yoga, working on my mind and body and really just reflecting on why I do what I do on a daily basis. Because if I don't, I'll forget and I'll get lazy and I'll end up going back to a bad situation. So you need to always be staying in touch with your intentions and making sure that you're doing the things that are going to leave you best off at the end of the day. If you enjoy content about gambling addiction, gambling addiction recovery, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you join our community. So now I'm going to drive over to my 12 step support group meeting. And I want you guys to know, like I make these videos to help you to share what's working in my recovery, but you know, I'm still going to meetings every week. I'm still putting in the work. I don't want you to think like, I believe that I'm comfortable or ahead of everyone for some reason. No, I need to go to these meetings because that's where I get the help that I need. My weekly meeting is the medicine that I need to reflect on my gambling addiction, my journey, what I'm doing right in my recovery, as well as what I might be doing wrong and can improve upon. So obviously I can't take you guys into the meeting. It's anonymous, as you might know, but I just wanted to share that's where I'm heading now. And I'll share some reflections afterwards. So tonight's meeting was great. We worked through what we would do if we had a relapse. We talked about dealing with gambling urges and we talked about our intentions for why we are in recovery at all. It's always great to reflect and get a little bit of a reminder as to why we do what we do. So guys, I'm no filmmaker, I'm no video editor, but I'm here to tell you that if you wanna recover from a gambling addiction, you absolutely can. 
Again, as I said before, I'm going to be including a daily schedule of what I do on a daily basis. And in recovery, it's all about keeping yourself moving. Because when we sit around, when we start to think about what's going wrong, when we reflect on all the negative times, we end up making bad decisions and we end up feeling sorry for ourselves. We got to get out. We got to take action. We got to get moving in the right direction. Each and every one of you can live a happy life. All it takes is a little bit of effort and it takes some action. Now, what I'm doing is by no means special and I still have a lot of work, but that's a little bit about what I would do on a daily basis. Get up, get active, get learning, stay learning, get to my meetings and work on this content. I really hope that you guys can see that I'm coming from a genuine place and that everything that I put out is aimed at helping you to just live a happier life overall. You know, there's still a lot that I need to learn, as I said before, but I'm learning each and every day and I'm sharing what I'm learning with you. In fact, I put together a resource list. It's a PDF guide filled with all the resources that I know to recover from a gambling addiction. That's 100% free and it's linked in my profile as well as down below in the description. So if you've been struggling with gambling or you've just been struggling in general and you want to get on the right path, check out that PDF resource guide because I want to see each and every one of you living a happier life. That is what I want. That's what my intention here. Even those of you that might be trolling, leaving some negative comments here and there, I understand. And I just want everyone to be happy. Um, you know, that might be corny. It might sound like I'm not being truthful, but the truth is I'm doing well and I want that for you. If what's on my schedule, what's during my day works for you, that's awesome. If it's not, please let me know down in the comments below what does work for you. I want to hear what works. And maybe you can teach me something and I can implement it into my day. Let's all keep getting better together one day at a time.